charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits, start a mix. A subscribe machine for domains. Uh, is that Dookie? Is that leftover prisoner shark? Hey! Hey, what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Star Wars Episode 5 Artifacts Plus No Trooper 2 Pack. If you're trying to pick these up, you can order them at Big, 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thanks so much to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, check the links below. Really nice packaging over here. I like this glossy black that we get over here. We get two snow troopers, one with the pointing finger and one without. Then on the side, you can see the pointing snow trooper right there, and then on the back, you can see both statues. Then some product images. There's a read up. If you want to read it, pause it now. Then there's the other snow trooper over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here are the snow troopers out of the packaging. Right off the bat, I have to say, these are my favorite Artifacts Plus statues that I've ever had in my possession from Kotobukiya. These are incredible. Uh, they have a little bit of articulation. So, as you can see in this picture right here, there is assembly required, and they made it so that you could actually use the waist swivel right there, and then you get a little bit a head swivel, there's wrist swivel, so I'll show more of that later on. Uh, you do get additional pieces right here, so you can add the arms right there. Uh, you get three different display options, which I think is cool. I'll get more into that in a little bit. They also have some great paint detail. Now, they're essentially the same piece. You can see the legs are posed exactly the same way. So I'm just going to show the paint detail on one of them. But before we get into the detail, I want to look at some of the accessories. Uh, we have these magnetized bases that we usually get for the Artifacts Plus statues, which are great. They're kind of dense, and you can see that the the statues do have magnets at the bottom of their feet and they hold together nicely. And they each come with their own blaster over here, which are identical to each other. And we get some really nice paint detail on both of these. You get this little speckled silver throughout on them. I just think these both look great. And these are your typical Stormtrooper blasters right here. So, yeah, I'm really liking these a lot. And even though these are based off of mostly an all white character, I really love the variation of colors that we get with this. Uh, first off, you get two kinds of white. You basically, get your plain white, and then you get a cream colored white right over there, which I think is great. Adds some great variation to this figure, or statue anyway. Nice black wash right over there. I really like the paint added right over here too. And looking on the back of it, you get some nice little silver bits painted right in here, and that's also sculpted in there too. And you get some more of that black wash right there in the shoulder pads. Really nice paint detail over here. The grays and the reds came out very clean. Nice sculpted work too. If you look on the side of it, you get those little lines right there etched around. Nice wrinkles in the body part of the suit too. Really digging that. He has his little buttons and everything. Little console piece right there. This little emblem right here on the belt looks really nice. Nice silver paint apps. And we have the crotch guard over there. Nice pouches on the side. Very nice dirt added to this. I like that. Nice weathered look. And some really nice wrinkles right here in the pants. And the knee pads look really good. I really like the dirt right over here on his skirt piece. I don't think it's actually a skirt, but I forgot what it's called. You know, another cool thing about these snow troopers is that they kind of remind me of Darth Vader more so than any other trooper. Really nice snow boots right over here, though. Looking really cool. Now, these statues are perfect for army building. I love what Cody is done here. You get three different posing options as I mentioned earlier. Now both of them you can get into this relaxed pose right here. As you can see there's an extra set of arms that are just for the relaxed pose. Now this guy is in the firing pose and you can see how it's tilted downwards and he's firing and everything. So you can only get one of them in a firing pose. And then you can also only get one of them in a, hey look what's over there, it's Princess Leia in a slave outfit, you know. That, that That's what I'm calling that pose. Or it could be, hey rebels, go shoot them. But why would she be in the slave outfit? Outfit in episode 5 that never happened. Okay, anyway, but you can still pose him like this and you can only do that for one of them So to go over it again, there's only one set of arms for the firing pose Two sets of arms for the relaxed pose and then only one left arm for the hey look It's not Princess Leia, but it's the rebels and then these guys have articulation as well Which is great so you can move the head side to side about that much and you can move the head up and down a little bit. So it's on a ball joint, which I would love if Kotobukiya did this for every Artifacts Plus statue because I think this is just really cool. I love that you can do that. And then you also get wrist swivel on each of these guys, which I think is awesome. So you can see the wrist swivels on all of the interchangeable hands. And then you also get a waist swivel on these too, which is great. So I don't know if this was intentional, if this is just how the parts just happened to come like this, because there's no indication talking about articulation or anything like that in the directions 
options, but the fact that it's here, I absolutely love it, especially with army builders. When I army build, I have a tendency to want them to look different from each other, not look exactly the same, so the fact that we can do this, I just think is awesome. Now measuring these guys with the bases, they stand at about seven and three quarter inches tall, and then without the base, you're looking just a little over seven inches. And to compare these guys to another Artifacts Plus statue, here we have the Marvel Now Cyclops from Kotobukiya, and then here's the Snowtroopers next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. You know, one thing I was always wondering is which one of you guys is the DJ? And I want that job. Then check it out. So again, I think these are great army builders. Essentially, they're two of the same figure, but again, you get all these display options, and I love that you have the articulation with these. I just highly recommend them. I really like them a lot, and I hope you guys liked my review a lot. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes if you want more shark in your face. Check out the Patreon account if you're 18 years of age or older. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and also check out JediInsider.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Just editing.